Okay, did someone say good apple foundation? Because I look like a corpse right now. Why is it dry on me? Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing a very, 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 very requested uh, video. And that's reviewing the Kat Von D Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. I got mine in boots and just to answer your questions, I got the shade Medium 051 and I actually bought this online. I hope it's the right shade because I'm so pale right now. Guys, this is the palest I've ever been. Of course, we're using natural daylight because you guys have been really liking it. And I thought, do you know what? I kind of don't mind just using daylight for my foundation reviews. I just find them, you know, you can actually just see my skin, you know, unless I can't for some reason. But yeah, we've got natural daylight today. My voice is so croaky. It's like freaking 6 30 morning right now it's so croaky today's post notification shout out is going to go to nid d so thank you so much for your really sweet comment i really appreciate it and if you guys want to get one next time all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so oh my god my voice is actually croaky I haven't had my tea yet. Okay, so on the Boots website, it says it's a buildable full coverage hydrating foundation balm with a lightweight long wear formula and a fresh matte finish in fully recyclable packaging. Thumbs up for that. It's infused with apple extract to help nourish the skin. Good apple minimizes the appearance of pores and gives skin a smooth, healthy look. Plus it's non-comedogenic, plus. <laughs> Um, it's non-cakey, flashback-free, foundation quickly covers blemishes and discoloration for an instant confidence boost. You can use a sponge or a dense foundation brush, patting motions for full coverage. You can use your finger to spot conceal. And it says for oily areas, set foundation with locket setting powder. So it looks like there's 40 shades. And to be honest, the shade range looks pretty bomb to me. There's a good distribution between the ranges and yeah, it looks pretty good. Like I had so many shades to choose from and I, I was so confused guys and I bought this online so I just hope it matches me I feel like it's gonna be no actually I don't know I don't know let's just see let's just see yeah I think this is not a bad shade I feel like in the morning my face is so puffy as well I feel like I need a little bit more moisturizer so guys I have really dry skin so I feel like this will like look okay on me or sit okay on me because I've just seen some reviews online where it just looks really really oily like this foundation has been everywhere on TikTok and it looks pretty oily on some people especially those who have oily skin but I also feel like some people are putting a lot of product on like they would just put a, a, a lot of product in my opinion so I'm not going to be doing that because I already know that when I start putting a lot of product it starts to give me smile lines like major smile lines um, and I don't think we need that much product with this foundation anyways it's really soft oh i think i got the right shade it's a little bit light but you know i'm very pale right now it does apply a little bit lighter okay i'm just using taking a little bit on my brush Oh yeah, I'm just using a little bit of um, corrector. Because I know for a fact this is going to go ashy. It covered my spot instantly. Okay, that is with one side. To be honest, with all of it together, it doesn't look light. Because once I put everything on... It's gonna look okay. It's actually applying quite dry on my skin, like because I, I haven't put too much and I don't feel like I need much. I've put the bare minimum amount and that's covered so well, guys. But it's looking a little bit dry on my skin. Okay, I'm gonna try it with a beauty blender. I don't like to apply, I don't like to dip my beauty blender in cream products like that. I like to just apply it first. Usually I get my shades right all the time. I'm so gutted. But it's okay. But like I said, I was so confused about like what shades to get because there were so many. Oh, I kind of prefer it with the sponge because it's, it's, it's like kind of like sinking into my skin rather than just sitting right on top of it. 
guys I'm applying this and it legit looks more like a powder foundation on my skin oh my god it's so pale right okay apart from it being so pale it looks okay it looks a bit more powdery on my skin I don't know if that's because I have you know really dry skin that is definitely way more paler than I am but you know what we're gonna face it with a little bit bronzer hopefully I'm gonna come back and I'm be gonna looking like a human being okay because I look like a corpse right now but it hasn't gone ashy it hasn't gone ashy I know it looks like it it's gone really bright outside the sun usually starts rising around this time and it gets so bright guys so bright okay that's what my skin is looking like Okay, I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. I've finished my makeup and honestly, I don't know what to think about the foundation right now. I don't think it's for me. The shade is fine. Like, it's definitely more my winter shade. It, it works because, you know, it blends into my neck. Okay. I can't see. I hope the quality is good right now. But yeah, I feel like it matches really well with it the rest of my makeup but it's literally clinging to every dry spot on my face look guys I kid you not like when you look at this up close it's not like what I'm used to like some parts of it looks okay but my nose and like my spot here like literally all dried out and there's already smile lines coming through even on my forehead it's so dry why is it dry on me but that just comes to show like my skin's so dry guys i'm gonna try and show you up close but, like overall it looks okay right i've really tried my best to show you guys how it looks up close but yeah we'll just see how this looks like throughout the day but like right now i'm not a big fan do you know i was gonna say like this doesn't like suit the description because it said like a matte finish it's not dewy it just looks like skin it's a fresh matte finish and that's literally what it's given me whilst with some people online i've seen it give it a really major oily dewy like kind of look but well, for, for me that's the complete opposite right now i mean the coverage is good i can still see my spot although it's just like dried it all up like honestly guys you can even see it like the more bronzer and blush i was putting the more dry it was getting like this is not how like my makeup usually sits so that's why like i'm reacting this way i mean that's how i should i know everyone's like most people have been loving this foundation but for me like right now it's not working overall it does look good but i prefer like when you look up close you know it looks like skin like it doesn't really dry me out or it really doesn't start gathering and it's already doing that in some places and bear in mind i didn't put that much product for around like a 30 pound foundation i would expect better for me and because i had dry skin i thought it would work better it's recommend it's more recommended for normal to dry skin types i'm not too bothered about the shade because like if i really did like this i could still wear this whilst i'm pale but the dryness is like next level and I've prepped my skin like I usually do, I, I, like I do with all my reviews. I haven't changed anything, I haven't put primer, I don't put primer in my reviews. But anyways, it's now 7.30 a.m. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day. I'm also gonna try and edit the first half of this video um, so I can have this video up for you guys today. But yeah, so far, I'm not feeling it, guys. I'm not feeling it. If anything, I feel like it's accentuated my pores because of the dryness. Like, my nose literally looks like the Sahara Desert right now and a major smile line is coming through already so yeah i will check back with you guys in a bit all right guys it's now 5 33 p.m i've worn this foundation for a good 10 hours i would say and do you know what throughout the day throughout the day it's definitely become a bit dewy right but there's so many parts of my face where it's just cracked up you know faded it's patchy but you know when you just you just expect something from a foundation it's not giving it and it's not giving it to you like that's what i'm getting from this foundation i'm not gonna say it's completely bad because to be honest i've looked at my skin throughout the day and i'm like oh it looks really like glowy and plump on some parts of my face like i kind of like this finish but if you look close it's there's a lot of gathering here it's all gone around my nose and even my forehead 
it only looks good on my cheeks but you know it still looks dry on my spot like even with my other foundations like i don't really get this like i've had this spot for ages now and it's never gone like dry like this with my other foundations i can go like this and i see a streak like this product moves a lot and bear in mind i set my face um, what's funny is that you can see like a line here where like you can see the matteness from my concealer like it's really matte it stayed put and then you just see the dewiness of the foundation it, there's literally a line like matte dewy yeah, overall you know it looks decent but I would I would expect more from a 30 pound foundation guys it gets points for coverage it gets points for the recyclable packaging it gets points for I don't know oh yeah and it also gets points for the really good shade range i do like the dewiness that i've gotten throughout the day but this does, this didn't look like this when i first applied it it was like really dry like dry guys even my smile lines i had to go like this because it was so bad so yeah i don't know about the long wear of this foundation i know it's so hyped products may work for other people and they may not work for me and vice versa i might i might like a product but some of you guys might not like it or it, you know it doesn't suit your skin my skin was just not having this foundation but i'm not gonna lie, like this finish i don't know if i would use it again honestly like it hasn't wowed me i can't trust it you know like when i wear foundation even though that's quite rare these days like if i'm gonna go out wear foundation i want a foundation that i can completely trust and this one's not it so yeah it's just i thought i was gonna love this foundation i thought I, I thought i was gonna like it's gonna be for me like dewy foundation for my dry skin but it just was the complete opposite so yeah i don't know what i would rate it i'll probably rate it like a, a three out of ten I wouldn't use it guys i'm just being completely honest and also like if you have really oily skin this will become very dewy like for the day because look at that shine i haven't even put highlight so that's one thing to know but you know i thought it would work for my dry skin it didn't but you know it can work really well for other people clearly it does because it's gone viral um i'm sad i'm gutted that i i don't like it as much as i thought i would but you know we gotta keep some honesty in the game, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Give it a thumbs up, it really helps your girl out. Um, let me know what other products you want me to try. Subscribe to join the family and I will see you in my next video.